Kaixo, egunon, arratsaldeon edo ta gabon. My name is Irati Garcia. I am a Basque native speaker and qualified teacher. I have been working as a language teacher for about seven years and almost a year as a Basque online teacher on italki. In case you want further information, you can reach me on italki, type in my name. You can also send me an email to basqueinenglish at gmail.com and you can follow me on Instagram and YouTube. This is an introduction to Basque. If you're interested in learning why this language is unique, keep on watching the video. Basque is the language spoken in the Basque country. It is in the northern part of Spain and southwestern part of France. Basque Autonomous Community is made of three provinces, Biscaya, Guipúzcoa and Araba. The Basque country, or Euskal Herria, takes the three provinces, Navarra territory, and three territories of French Basque country, Lapurdi, Benafarroa, and Suberoa. People that live in Basque territories are called Euskaldun. Euskera is the language spoken. Dun is a suffix to say that the person has so, the person that has euskera or speaks euskera is euskaldun. It is commonly heard that Basque is a unique language, but why? The first reason has had experts in suspense throughout the decades. In fact, this language is regarded as an isolated language, which origins are unknown. It already existed before Latin spread in the peninsula and has been the only pre-Romanic language that persisted and even when the Latin died out, Basque still remains in use nowadays. It is the oldest language in Europe that is still in use, according to linguists and historians. Its antiquity dates back at least to Neolithic times, although there is some evidence that leads us to believe that its origins can be traced back many years before. In addition to that, it doesn't have any relation with any Indo-European languages. There have been numerous theories about its origins, roots and similarities, but it has never been proved that Basque has an official relation with the remaining languages. Euskara, the language of the Basques, is unclassifiable. As its roots are unknown, there are no semantic groups to encompass it, and it has no common features with any other languages in Europe. It is the heritage of all Basques and our most marked cultural identity. One of the characteristics that is special in this language is that it is an agglutinative language, which means that words contain different morphemes to determine their meanings. For instance, we take a noun of a place, Bilbo. If we say Bilbora, that means to Bilbao. If we say Bilbotic, that means from Bilbao. And if we say Bilboco, that is also from Bilbao, marking procedence. We can also take the name of a person or a personal noun, irati. Irati iren would be possessive. Iratis. Irati iren sat would be for irati. And irati iri would be to irati. We also make an important distinction between transitives and tra intransitive verbs. Each group has its own auxiliaries. When it is a transitive verb, the subject goes with the ergative case K. For example, ni irati nice means I am irati. Nice would be an intransitive verb. Therefore, the subject ni cannot have any K. The other example would be nik liburua dut. Dut, it is an transitive verb to have, so nik, the subject, needs the ergative case, k. 
When it comes to the word order, generally speaking, the order of affirmative sentences is first subject, then object, and the verb or the verbs go at the end of the sentence. We also have many compound nouns that express ideas. For example, mean busy. Miña is pain. Busy is life. So, a pain of your life or the pain of your life. Mean busy would mean cancer. Ichasonzi. Ichaso is si. Onzia is like box, container, so a box that is on the sea is a ship. And finally, sorry on, sorry is luck, on is good. So if a person has good luck in his or her life, that means that that person is happy or has happiness. Sorry on means happiness. Over the years, Basque language has had a remarkable evolution. Old Basque, also called proto-language, was different from nowadays, and it has a great deal of borrowings from other languages, such as Latin, Spanish and French. Before the wars in the 1930s, the language was inherited from generation to generation in the family environment widely spoken in inland small villages. However, the worst period for this language started in 1936, when the fastest dictator Franco ruled Spain. General Francisco Franco ordered German and Italian aviation to bombard Guernica and Durango in 1937. From 1939 to 1975, languages that were not Spanish, like Catalan and Basque, were banned. There is a denominated lost generation of Basque speakers and the language was in the verge of dying out. Basque institutions disappeared. Basque schools set up in 1922 were closed. Newspapers and magazine articles couldn't be published until 1962. Basque names were banned. If a person dared to speak Basque in public, it was considered breaking the law, and people could face prison and even the death. The language didn't become extinct thanks to clandestine organizations that promoted this language. For example, my father was a teenager in the period of the dictatorship and he used to gather with people in a basement to speak in Basque and sing Basque songs. Many people had to exile to other countries. The most popular ones were in Latin America and in the United States. There, Basque communities grew and they still remain nowadays. For instance, Argentina and Uruguay. California, Idaho, Nevada, Oregon. When Franco died in 1975, it was an open door for democracy and the language was set free. From that moment on, Basque schools for kids and adults started to develop and thrive. I was born in 1992 and my generation had the fortune of being able to study all subjects in Basque in a state-funded private school and university. In addition to that, Basque government promotes many programs and events to foster the normalization of the language in everyday life. It's prejudice that Basque is a difficult language to learn, but in my view, it is a very logical language that needs to conquer all words like pieces in a puzzle. I teach general lessons on italki. Basque for specific needs, most of my students start learning from scratch all over the world. We work on grammar, vocabulary and topics to have essential foundations to let them create unlimited sentences.
I share with them a folder where I upload resources, materials for the lessons, PDFs, PowerPoints, videos, articles, among other things. I customize the lesson to a specific aims and needs. I am constantly creating new material and revisiting it, making changes and improving to fulfill my students' requirements. When my students achieve a kind of independence, our lessons turn out to be more conversational ones with everyday topics. I also love speaking about my hometown, my culture, customs, traditions, and my childhood, as it is a first-hand source of information. I try to use my personal experience to explain concepts and providing a broader view of, of Basque and my own identity, thanks to this language. I am also developing and working on a project of Basque video course and social media. My goal with that is to help students improve and give them support outside our lessons by watching ordinary live videos, photos or posts in everyday life situations. I would like to finish this presentation by telling you this Basque proverb. Chapela buruan, taibili munduan. Chapela is our special hat. For us, a chapeldun, a person that has or wears our special chapela, is a champion. So, chapela buruan, the chapela on the head, and walk around the world being proud of being Basque and spreading our culture. Chapela Buruan, Taibili Munduan. Last but not least, I would like to recommend you this song and this group named Oscorri. For you, this may be a song, but for me, this song resembles my childhood and my past memories, as my father used to sing to it to me when I was a child. I would like to thank you all for listening to this speech. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. It has been a real pleasure. If you have any questions, please ask me down below in the comments, or you can also contact me on italki, basqueinenglish at gmail.com or through my Instagram, basqueinenglish. Thank you very much.